Hey guys, in this new video, we're going to take a look at nuclear reactions. Now, we're going to say here that nuclear reactions deal with chemical processes that take place in unstable nuclei atoms. Now remember, your basic picture of the atom, we have spinning around the nucleus are electrons. Within our nucleus, we have our protons and our neutrons. Our protons are positively charged, our neutrons are neutral. Now, nuclear reactions deals with us somehow affecting the number of protons within our given atom. Now, we're going to say this normally happens with very large, bulky, radioactive types of elements. Now, we're going to say here, unlike normal chemical reactions, where the identities of the elements stay the same, we're going to say nuclear reactions often result in elements changing into completely different elements. So we're all used to stoichiometry and balanced chemical equations. For example, we're used to seeing we have H2 gas here plus N2 gas here combined to give us NH3 gas over here. And balancing it here, we'd put a, oh, there's a two here, we'd put a two here and a three here. But for a nuclear reaction, we're actually affecting the number of protons within our element. Remember, your protons or your atomic number represents the identity of that element. Every element has its own unique atomic number that no other element has. But in nuclear reactions, we're actually messing around with the number of protons, which results in us creating completely new and different elements. So you could start out with calcium 20 and somehow go through some process in which calcium 20, um, um, calcium 40 I mean, becomes argon. So that's the whole basis of nuclear reactions. We go from one element to a completely new element by affecting the number of protons. Affecting the number of protons has a direct impact on the identity of the element. 